So, don't you love banners? So this is the uh, the last challenge in the general skills category, and I'll provide the link to the challenge in the chat. Okay, so don't you love banners? Um, general skills, can you abuse the banner? Additional details will be made available after launching your challenge instance. Okay, so we don't necessarily have to create a directory for this particular challenge. We just need to launch the instance. Okay, so after it's done, it says here, the server has been leaking some crucial information on this server right here at this port. Use the leaked information to get to the server. To connect to the running application, use NC netcat and then this server right here on this particular port. From the above information, abuse the machine and find the flag in the slash root directory. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get the, uh, the crucial information that's been leaked from this particular server right here on this port. So we can copy that. And then we can go to the web shell. Okay, so we're going to paste in the paste in the and the uh, the server and the port, and then we're going to netcat to that particular port. What it says in the banner over here is my password one two at one two three four. So this is obviously some uh, some information that we shouldn't be getting, but it's been leaked by this particular banner. So this is this is an example of a banner. A banner is uh, something that uh, that a network service displays after it's been connected to. So in this case, we have this password right here. So we can copy it, and then we can get out of here by using the Control C keyboard shortcut to cancel out of this program. And we can keep this password somewhere. I'm just going to put it in my in my notepad for now. And then to connect to the running application, use this command right here. So you can copy that. And then in the web shell, access it. And it says, so the banner over here says, welcome. What is the password? So we know that the password is this. We can copy it. And then we can paste it in. And then we have another question over here. What is the top cybersecurity conference in the world? So to anybody who knows, the answer is DEF CON, which is the cybersecurity convention that happens every year. And it's been happening in uh, Las Vegas for the last 20 years, 30 years. It's been a while. OK, so supply that is the answer. And the next question is, the first hacker ever was known for freaking, making free phone calls. Who was it? Okay, so this is a bit of hacker trivia. And the answer is John Draper. So John Draper was, uh, was this famous hacker who was able to, able to make free phone calls uh, by freaking, which is uh, basically whistling or um, sending particular notes into the telephone and uh, I'm not exactly sure the the nitty-gritty details of freaking but it's basically uh, submitting specific tones into a telephone to get access to free phone calls uh, this was this is really popular in the past when people used a lot of uh, pay phones but uh, I'm not sure if it works anymore okay so that's the answer John Draper and now we're in so we're at player at challenge. So our username is player. We're on the challenge server right here. 
if we ls to take a look at what's in this uh, directory right here, it's banner and text. Let's take a look with a little more detail by using the ls with the la flags. Okay, and so we see that uh, inside of here, we are the player, so we own these files. Uh, strangely, we own the banner file over here. Uh, we have read and write, no. Yeah, so we read and write privileges on this, on this particular file. And we also have this uh, text file right here that is uh, that is owned by root. So if we read the banner, this is the welcome banner we saw when we when we logged into the system. Okay, and there's also the text file. It says keep digging. Okay, so let me grab my notes. Okay, so if you remember the uh, the hint from the challenge description, it said that uh, the flag file was in the root directory. So normally we're not able to read the root directory, but for some reason this we can read the uh, the root directory on this server right here. So there's two files in the root directory. There's one called flag.txt, which is the goal for this particular challenge, and there's a script.py file. Okay, so let's take a look with a little more detail with the uh, with ls la. So the interesting thing is that uh, is that this file this this folder this directory is readable by anybody, and anybody can execute stuff in this directory, which is a bit unusual. Um, but we also see that uh, the flag.txt file is not is not readable by anybody, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. But we see the script.py file over here is readable. So what we need to do is we need to read this file. So we're going to cat it out. Okay, so this is a Python script. So it uses both the OS and the PTY PTY modules, and the first thing we see over here is uh, something very suspicious. So it's try with open, okay, and this is home player slash banner. So this is the file that uh, is in our current directory. So read this, so print f.read. And if the file doesn't exist, it's going to print out this default banner right here. And it seems that this file is is basically what is letting us log into the system. So this is the script that logs us into the system. It asks for the password. It asks for the top cybersecurity conference in the world, and it asks for the, the first hacker that uh, was known for freaking. Okay. So the thing is, uh, the interesting thing about this file is that um, this is run each time we log in, but we also, it also uses this file right here, the banner file, and we have control over the banner file. So we see here that the, the banner file is owned by us, the player, and it is accessed each time we log in. So what we can do is we can take advantage of this by creating a symbolic link which is basically a link is something that points to another file and we can make this banner file point to the flag file and when we after we've made a symbolic link from the banner file to the flag file the next time we log in instead of the banner the contents of the flag file will be displayed okay so the first thing we need the first thing we need to do to pull out this plan is to remove the banner file. So rm banner, and then the banner doesn't exist anymore. Next we're going to create a symbolic link. So we can do that with the ln command. So link s for symbolic. And then we're, no, we're going to specify the, um, the, the file that it is linked to, which is slash root slash flag.txt. 
and then we're going to name the file banner. So that creates a file called banner, which is actually a symbolic link to slash root slash flag.txt. Okay, so that means that when we log in, the Python script in the root directory is going to run, and instead of the banner that we saw in the uh, when we first logged in that said welcome, it's going to give us the flag. So we can test this out by exiting out of the server, exit, and then we can log in one more time. So when we log in, we're not going to need to supply a password because the, the flag is going to be printed out for us immediately. Okay, so we try logging in, and because we replaced the banner with a symbolic link that goes to flag.txt, we get the contents of flag.txt right here. So we can copy this, and then go back to the challenge description page, paste in the flag, and submit the flag. So don't forget to click on click on the uh, the rate positive button right here to show appreciation to the challenge makers. Hey there, hacker frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also. Click on the like button, and if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.